Every program at the university is going to have challenges and people are going to question the handling of certain things. To me, it's how you react to it, how you respond, and then... St. Bonaventure graduate Adrian Wojnarowski has been a longtime supporter of his alma mater and says the fan base is a crucial part in the basketball team's success. I think carries us is an alumni base, a fan base, a student body, a community that cares deeply about uh, the program, the history of it. But many of those fans, like Francis Dabari and Mike Lindsley, are still confused about the university declining an NIT bid. Why the heck, why would we decline a bid? Bonaventure has always been, you know, as you can tell, a team that performs and goes well and does pretty good in the NIT tournament. And then some people came at me and, and were like, you're really that mad at the NIT, at this NIT thing. Yeah, I'm upset at the NIT thing because the first thing that I thought of was how not Bonaventure this is. It's, it's insane to think that it could just blow over, right? I asked Adrian if this could affect donations to the university. He said after speaking with his alumni collective team on furl that he has no concerns. I talked to a lot of our folks who are involved with Team Unfurl and who donated and helped. And I sense tremendous enthusiasm and a tremendous understanding of the need for it. Adrian said tough choices are just a part of the business. But according to Dabari, that should discourage fans from supporting the program despite the bumps and bruises. I think the most important thing right now is is for everybody to, to band together and you know to, to remember what the mission is here, and that's to be successful. And just because there were a few disrespectful and not good decisions by higher ups in the program does not mean they should recant their fandom, you know, recant how much they put into this team. For SBU TV, I'm Louis Genovese.